One of the people in yesterday's five-car crash on the Seward Highway is charged with reckless driving. Anchorage police say he did not slow down for traffic, turning into a pullout near mile marker 109. His expedition hit an SUV that was waiting behind another truck trying to make a left-hand turn across from the water spigot, then hit an oncoming vehicle head-on. All four people in that vehicle were taken to the hospital, one with life-threatening injuries. Well, the Department of Transportation spokesperson said this is the first major crash related to the pullout across from the spigot. But engineers are always working to make the Seward Highway safer. KTV 11's Heather Hinsey tells us about their plans for some improvements. It's a watering hole that draws people in with fresh mountain runoff. About 39 gallons. It lasts about three weeks. Andrew Cornelius always makes a stop at the Seward Highway spigot on his way home to Kenai. Even if I'm coming from Kenai to get water here, I'll go past to Beluga Point and come back and turn around. Just like as when I lived in Anchorage, we'd pull out that way and go down to a turnaround before we'd come out because it's not a very safe place to turn out. Getting across the road takes a little longer in July. That's when the Department of Transportation says there's an extra 10,000 people per day on the Seward Highway. DOT constructed a pullout for people to get safely off the road. And then when you're pulling out over there, you know, you need to leave the proper amount of space to get out accordingly. Don't just try to dart into traffic. That's why you end up with accidents, you know, if you're not paying attention. Each year, the agency works with communities to find ways to improve the highway even more. Spigot signage was a request of the Girdwood 2020 initiative, which aims to enhance the area through development projects. We're looking at, um, you know, some additional, additional signage of letting people to the pullout, you know, about a thousand feet ahead in, in advance, and then also um, safety information on the water spigot side, including the rock hazard. Um, there, there are, it is an area where we do have rock come down, and so we wanted to alert people of that too. Andrew says he's not worried about crossing the highway on foot, but does so safely, leaving his wife and baby at the car. I'm not in a hurry. I mean, if I would rather wait here for an hour for the traffic to clear up than try to risk it across the street. He urges all drivers and pedestrians to pay attention so parking at the spigot doesn't become a problem. Heather Hinsey, KTVA 11 News. The DOT spokesperson says the signs are still in the design phase, but the agency hopes to have them up by the fall.